Call Control Buttons Part 1. Listed here are quick and easy call control buttons that you can use to respond quickly once you've answered an interaction. How can we answer an interaction? We can use the pick up button. We have no need to pick up the physical telephone anymore. All we have to do is make life easy. Click a button. We could also place a call on hold. This would be play, call, play music to the caller if you have that set up. We also have the mute button. This allows you to be able to get a quick sip of water, say hello to the friend in the cubicle next to you, uh, do whatever you need to do, but just gives you a quick timeout. Then we have our transfer button. This is needed sometimes when a customer needs to be able to speak to another representative, to be able to answer a question or just wants to be transferred. It, it allows you to have a couple different options. When you transfer a call, you have the option to be able to transfer it to a particular person. You could park that call also on that particular person's queue, or you could transfer it have a three-way conversation or a two-way conversation. It allows you to be able to have that smooth handoff with another agent before you transfer the customer. Or you could keep your customer on the line as you speak to the agent and all three of you can hear the conversation. So lots of different options when you make a transfer. We also have voicemail. This allows you to send the caller directly to a voicemail where they have the opportunity to leave that person a message. And last, we have how do you disconnect? You can either hang up your physical phone or again, take the shortcut here and just press a button that says disconnect and I'll show you how. The call control buttons are located in the center of my screen under my interactions tab or view at the top. You can see that they're currently grayed out. That's because we don't have anything coming in into our queue at the moment. As soon as we do, we'll see those buttons light up with life and we'll be able to go ahead and click on each one of them. So let me go ahead and first simulate a call. You can see a call has come into our queue with the number and the, uh, the name and the number at the top and the state shows it's alerting. I can click the pick up button in my toolbar. Automatically it now shows the state as connected. I have a couple different opportunities depending upon what button is available or not available, again determined by what we have set. We can see that I could place the call on hold. Once the hold button is clicked, if it was set up, you could hear hold music. If we want to take the call off of hold, all we have to do is click the hold button again. From there, if we decide we want to mute the call, we could click mute. What this does is it disables the mouthpiece on our telephone so that the other party or parties cannot hear what we're saying. Why else would we want to click that, the mute button? I like to think of it, it gives you the opportunity to be able to take a quick sip of water. You could sneeze without anybody hearing. It just again, it mutes, mutes that call, uh, prevents others from hearing you on the other end. We also have the button transfer to the right. If I go ahead and click transfer, it allows me to be able to speak with another representative if needed. If I need to speak to another agent, I'm not quite sure about something, I want to do a quick consult, I can do so by clicking any of the buttons here. As you can see, they're all grayed out. They stay grayed out until we determine where are we going to transfer that call to? Who do I want to seek help with? So if I put in the extension 2164, I could contact John Young. I could either transfer the call to John, I could park the call, leaving it in his queue if he was unavailable. I could send it to John's voicemail, or I can consult with John and it allows me in the blue shirt to talk with John or to talk to the customer in the red shirt. So I can determine how I want this conversation to go. Do I want to have a nice smooth handoff, giving John a little heads up on what the, what's going on with the customer? Do I want to keep the customer in the loop connecting all three of us? So lots of different options again when getting ready to transfer a call, park a call, send a call to voicemail, or consulting with another person within your department or within your company directory. When the call is complete, all we have to do is click disconnect the button on our toolbar, or we could physically hang up our telephone if we were going to do it that way too. So different options on how you want to pick up a call or disconnect a call. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and click disconnect. 
and automatically it shows the state of call as disconnected. Now all the buttons in our toolbar are grayed out because we don't have a live interaction within our queue. This has been another just-in-time short video on call control buttons.